Hey there Capricorn, welcome to your reading for the week of April 11th. Uh, you have a rather nice week this week. I would say it's mostly just going to be maybe not too exciting, but it, it's still kind of like one of those weeks where it just has like a nice flow to it for you, I think. So you start off with the Three of Clubs, which is a really nice card. This card represents second chances, getting a second chance at something. Could be a relationship. Uh, people always ask that question whenever I say, you know, whenever this card comes up and I'm like, it's second chances. And I always get the question, is it relationships? It could be, but to be honest, usually not. Usually it's a second chance regarding work uh, or it's a second chance. It can be a second chance in a relationship that you're in that you never left, if that makes sense. So, like, you know, maybe uh, you missed your wife's anniversary last year or your husband's anniversary or whatever. Maybe you made that mistake or forgot about your significant other's birthday or something like that and this is you getting a second chance to like make up for that mistake so it's really but it really doesn't really necessarily speak to relationships all that often although it can and to also be quite honest i think the energy right now is to at, at the point where if, if you've left somebody or somebody's left you for for the most part, not true for everybody, but for the most part, that person's gone for good um, because that's just what's going on right now. People are figuring out exactly what they want. So when people are leaving or when you leave somebody else, it's like, that's it. There's there's nothing else coming back. But again, this is a good second chance card for a lot of other things too, like work, anything that you missed, any opportunities that you feel like you've missed. Even if you've been trying to do something, like maybe you have a business or you started a business and you're, you just keep trying to get, get it going and it just hasn't been going anywhere. This is finally maybe some like breakthroughs and things like that coming through. Next, you have the Five of Diamonds. Also very similar. It's very good for breakthroughs and things. This is a great card for starting new things, for starting new relationships. It's kind of like that, a, a nice little like starting kick to whatever it is that you're trying to get going. So great for starting businesses, starting new re relationships, like I said, starting new business relationships, getting projects going, even home-based projects. Like even if you're just working on the home, maybe you're, as I say, building a deck or something like that, planning something like that. This is a great pro uh, project starting card just in general. It's also also very good for money so a lot of you like I said mostly those of you in business a lot of you Capricorns that have businesses this is a very good card uh, for getting things going in business as well so it should be a good week there next you have the uh, jack of clubs this is you looking into the future I want to say that this has come up for Capricorn in the, in the past this is you like looking into the future and really seeing where you want to go and planning out how you're going to get there. Uh, I, I think, like I, I've said in the past to Capricorn, I think you realize that it's like you're no longer really going to be able to... Um, it, it's like you realize that you can't just set goals. You realize that you have to like figure out all the little steps to get there. You can't just jump ahead to the goal. So that's what the Jacker Club is all about, like planning out how you're going to reach your goals in, in all areas of your life. And uh, this is you actually doing it. And to kind of strengthen that, you have the Queen of Spades, which the Queen of Spades is very much a visionary. She is definitely looking to the future. Even look on this card, she has a, like a hawk flying behind her. And it's all about like looking towards the future and really planning things out and really looking at what you have. I would say that the queen of clubs is all about uh, more about looking at your resources as well this guy he's just good for just planning in general but then the queen of clubs comes in and she really kind of takes a deeper dive into resources and, and looking at how to use those resources very like uh, with, with like very tactfully and, and very specifically and, and she gets really detailed about how she's going to use every every little last bit of her energy and that's what this card is all about and finally you have the two of clubs great deal of success coming into you but needing to get over some fears i always say that the two of clubs is like you against yourself it's it's you yourself and you needing to overcome some things on the inside and and blasting through some things to to uh to get things going you know even just looking at your cards here if we if we take every single card and we look at it here if you're trying to move forward in some area of your, of your life it is kind of like a good week as i say especially with the queen of spades to just throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks so to speak um you know it's a good week to just try maybe a bunch of different things and then whatever works is, is what you pick so maybe you have a bunch of business ideas maybe you should just try them all and it, maybe the obvious answer is whatever works so like i said you might have a bunch of these ideas maybe you'd say hey you know what I'm going to put in 
you know, or maybe split it up by the days of the week. Be like, on this day, I'm going to work on this. This day, I'm going to work on this. This day, I'm going to work on this. And whatever works is what I'm going to pick, and then I'm going to stick with it. It's that kind of week. Same with relationships. Maybe you're just like, you know, you can't get into a relationship. And maybe you, you're going to go, well, you know what? I'll try going to the bar to meet somebody. I'll try Tinder. I'll try Bumble. I'll try Match.com. Whatever works, works, and that's what I'm going to stick with. So it's you kind of like trying a bunch of different things this week to see what works. Kind of an interesting message. Kind of an interesting week as well. So... Thank you for watching and enjoy the week.